Today we're taking a look at two products that can help you become more proficient with your firearm without leaving the comfort of your own home. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things and today I'm going to be showing you two different training tools that will help you become a more proficient shooter. Both of the companies who make these products are sponsors of the Carry Trainer S12 event. That's coming up in about two weeks in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina and I will absolutely be bringing you guys along for that trip. So without further ado, let's get into the first one that a lot of people have been asking me questions on ever since I opened it in a mail time video. This is the original Dry Fire Magazine. If you ever caught me on one of my Instagram live streams, there's a really good chance that you saw me playing with this. As you can see on the orange base plate, this is the model for a Glock, but they also make them for Smith & Wesson. The way this thing works is you take a firearm, a real firearm, this is my go-to CCW Glock 19. You wanna double and triple check that the chamber is clear because you are obviously going to be pulling the trigger when using this thing. Now when putting the mag in the gun you actually want to have the striker back and ready to fire. If you have the trigger pulled and then you go and insert the mag it's not going to work the way it's designed to. So have the gun set ready to dry fire. Simply put the mag into the gun like a normal one. You're going to notice a little bit of resistance but that's normal. You're just going to have to give it a little love tap to get it in there and it's seated. This of course is for the larger frame Glock model so like a 17. This is in a 19 so a little bit hangs out. They make these mags for standard and large size frames but my suggestion would just be to get the bigger one that way you can use it across any Glock like this that you have. So mag is in the gun ready to fire. Now the first trigger pull is going to be very tough compared to normal. Here's an idea of what that's going to look like. It's definitely heavier than a normal Glock trigger pull but then when you release you'll get that nice click. Now every time I pull the trigger from here on out, you're gonna get that same audible and tactile reset that you would pretty much find when you're shooting live rounds. I say pretty much because this isn't exactly how a trigger feels when you're shooting live rounds, obviously. However, it simulates the trigger pull and reset pretty damn accurately. Now when you're standing around your home practicing your dry firing, you got your draw, the shot, and now follow up shots. Basically what this allows you to do is to get more familiar with your trigger without actually manipulating the firearm. I am no instructor but it is obvious that key to consistency is practice and practicing the proper techniques. So with this mag in the gun I can sit here and watch my finger pull the trigger and reset each time over and over and over again. What that's gonna allow you to do is practice prepping the trigger, get in repetition of using the correct amount of force. With your sight pitcher, you can practice keeping the sights completely flat and accurate the entire time. One thing that you can do to challenge yourself is take a round like this, just a typical nine millimeter snap cap, set it on top of your front sight post, try to take aim, and pull the trigger without dropping the round. I literally just did that first try. That did not happen in the unboxing video of this. So that just kind of goes to show that I have been using this, probably not as much as I should. However, since I've had it, I've been dry firing pretty much every single night. If you want to get really proficient with your firearm, you obviously have to put in a lot of time. So something like this will allow you to get a little bit of training without actually going out to the range, spending money, and you can just do it right here in your own home. Now the way this thing works is pretty interesting. Here I have the slide off the top of the gun and the mag inserted. I'll try to get a little light on there so hopefully you can see how this works. The little tab and spring on the top of the mag actually run right along the side of your trigger bar. So as you squeeze the trigger, it puts tension on that little spring until it breaks. You slowly release the trigger, the spring pushes back out and gives you that audible tactile reset. So if you want to be proficient with the gun that you carry, this is definitely a good tool to have for that. If you want to check these out, get your dry fire reps in and annoy your wife or your girlfriend. This is a good way to do it, so I will leave a link to where you can pick these up in the description down below. Now moving on to another training tool. This one is really neat. This is something that I never really played with before. This is a laser training cartridge from G-Sight. You may have also seen me open one of these in a mail time video in the past, however, I'll open it right now for you. They advertise on the box here that you can use your own firearm, increase your skill. There are no special targets needed. You can train safely and virtually 
virtually any location. You're actually gonna be using a mobile device for this, whether it's something that runs Android or an iPhone, and you will save money, time, and ammunition. Inside the box, we have a one nine millimeter training cartridge, three batteries, and then some instructions in the back. Here's a comparison between the laser training cartridge and just a typical snap cap. As you can see, the laser is a little bit longer. It has some O-rings which will hold it in place in the barrel, and it does not have a lip on the back of the cartridge like this does, and I'll show you what that's good for in a second. To make this thing work, you simply unscrew it, take the three tiny little batteries and drop them into place. And now if I press on this little black cap, you will see the laser. Now to put this in your gun, you again want to make sure that it is clear. Lock the slide to the rear and then just drop this right inside the barrel. You do want to give it a little bit of a press, that way that rear o-ring seats in there nicely. And now that is not wiggling around or going anywhere. Drop the slide, I am ready to shoot lasers. Now if I pull the trigger, this thing is working. Now the reason for this cartridge not having a lip on there is obviously because if you rack the slide to reset the trigger, it's going to grab onto that cartridge and try to pull it out of the gun. So for a striker fired gun like this, if you want the laser to go off every time you pull the trigger, you're going to have to press off a shot, rack the slide, reset, and pull the trigger again. Unfortunately, since the dry fire mag does not actually reset the firing pin, these two do not actually work in conjunction. However, if you grab a hammer fired gun, like the CZ P07, I got another cartridge in this chamber. Since this is hammer fired, every time I squeeze this trigger, the laser is actually fired. These are super useful because obviously you can tell where your shots are hitting. However, if you pair it with their app, it takes it up to a whole nother level. Here I have the app open on my phone. As you can see, it says to follow all safety requirements. It first prompts you with a safety warning telling you to remove all the magazines and ammunition within the room. We'll hit continue and then train. These are the different modes within the app. They have a laser training with 10 shots, laser training unlimited and shot timer. Those are both paid add-ons to the app and they were both about $5 each. Now what you're gonna do is find a place to set your phone. I just have this bracket that I had lying around here. My phone propped up against it. I'm gonna set it in front of my makeshift target, just a crudely cut out piece of cardboard. On the back of the instructions that came with the cartridge, they actually include a little target like this. I'm going to position my phone directly in front of the target. We'll do the 10 shot to start. You can zoom in on the target if your phone is sitting a little bit further back from what you're actually shooting at. And now I'll press start. I'll grab whichever gun I want to train with. I will go with this, that way I don't have to actually rack the slide to reset. And now I'm gonna step back a couple feet, fire some shots at the cardboard, and you will see the magic happen in front of you. There you have it, 10 shots detected, and it will actually mark on the target where you were hitting. Let's try that again by clicking train again, and now I'll play shots all over the target. There you have it again, two shots in the head, two in the neck, two center mass, and one on each corner. What's great about this is all you need is the cartridge and your phone. You don't even really need a target in the back like this. Let's try to train again, but this time change the target. That light switch is looking pretty deadly up there. We'll click start. There you have it again, 10 shots recorded all on a light switch. So that's the app and it's pretty damn cool. The unlimited is the same as the 10 shot, it just gives you unlimited shots. The shot timer actually allows you to set different time intervals. So when you open this up and go into the settings, you can change the number of sessions, the shots per session, and then the time increments between shots, the session length, and the start time. Something like that is super useful, especially if you're practicing on your draw. If you're carrying a weapon on you, you obviously want to be very proficient and quick with it. Gunfights happen in a matter of seconds, even milliseconds some people say. So using this as a tool will definitely help you improve in those situations. Now one other thing that I actually found useful about these cartridges is that you can use them for zeroing. 
Now this is seated in there pretty tightly because of the o-ring so to get it out what you want to do is grab something like a cleaning rod. You could use a pen or pretty much anything that runs down the inside of the barrel. Give it a little press to pop the cartridge out and then you can place this in any other 9mm gun. So let's say I want to zero in this RMR on my Glock 19. Simply slip the cartridge into the chamber, close it up. Make sure the dot is on, and now I'll focus on a point and dry fire like normal. And now I'm able to see that the laser is hitting right on top with this dot. When using an optic like this on a handgun, the point of impact is obviously gonna vary depending on your distance from the target. So if I'm standing just a couple feet away from a wall like this, when I pull the trigger, my point of impact is about an inch lower than the actual dot. I have this zeroed for about 20 yards, so the laser is obviously following the path that a bullet would, but the dot on the RMR is coming out and it is not zero until at about that 20, 25 yard mark. I notice what this is good for is that as I walk around my apartment, I can shoot at a wall about 10 feet in front of me, and notice that I'm still hitting a little bit low, but then if I back up a little bit more and shoot at something at a further distance, my laser is now hitting right on the point of impact for the RMR. You can train the same way with this too. If you are not used to shooting an RMR, throw a cartridge in your gun, holster up, set up your phone, get the app ready, and then you can just dry fire practice like normal. Just take your time with your reps, line up your sights, press off the shot, and then you'll get real-time feedback from the app showing where you're actually hitting. So that's about it. Two really cool products that will help you train and become more proficient with your firearm. I'm sure a lot of you out there are as guilty as I am. You don't train as much as you wish you could. However, the more you train, the safer and better you will be with your firearm. So having two products like this in your arsenal is not a bad idea. If you guys have any questions on these products, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And if you are new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe because I make new videos every week. That's going to be all for today. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.